Hey everyone, so I have been getting a lot of questions, people asking me, over the last couple days I've been using a new platform on my Facebook Live videos, I'm trying to step up my game, and I sign up for a free trial for something called Be Live, and I get to pop up the comments that are down in my comment section and highlight a comment, um, but not only that, I can also add wording down here, which is really fun, um, so you can see all of this different stuff, but there's a lot more features than just that. Um, so let me, and you can see where I had done it in a previous video with Jason and I as well. So that was really nice. Um, and I feel like for me, the, the benefits of this and being able to pop up um, comments on the screen is that they feel engaged. They feel like they're actually a part of what you're sharing instead of you just talking at them. Um, and so it's really nice to be able to highlight those comments. But one huge perk is that it helps you stay on track um, because I'll show you how you can create an agenda that keeps you on track. And also, whenever you download the YouTube or download the video and upload it to YouTube, you have these comments here, which is really nice. So, you know, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos where you can tell that they downloaded it from Facebook and it's confusing because the person's like looking at the screen. Um, reading the comment, but sometimes they don't read it out loud. And so then that way you're like, well, what did they ask? You know, and you try to figure it out by the answer they're giving, but sometimes that's really difficult. So anyway, um, it's called Be Live, and you can sign up for a free trial. The different types of pricing plans are listed down here at the bottom. Um, you can do the light, the standard, or the enterprise. I would definitely probably not ever need the inter enterprise. However, I will probably, once I'm done with this, end up getting the standard. Um, just depending, you know, so far I haven't had any issues with it, you know, and depending on if I do or don't, I, if I decide to continue my trial. But anyway, um, the reason why I would choose a standard and pay the yearly to save some, some money would be because you get the unlimited streaming. If you do the light version, you only get 16, and I just, I think that I would end up doing more than 16, but I'm not really sure. Maybe I wouldn't. Um, and for these videos, the only downside to this is you can't do this and create everything from your phone, which I think is okay because honestly, the live videos that you're going to do from your phone are typically ones that are more personal, um, not as branded. Like if I was going to show you guys like my grocery haul, um, I would not typically want to have a bunch of branded stuff on it because that's just kind of like a personal thing or if a video of my son doing something. So, you know, I don't see that as being an issue. So uh, for me though, I feel like 16 broadcasts from this platform a month, that might be what I do. Um, and you still get all the benefits over here. I don't know if I would really need the screen sharing depending on what kind of live videos you're doing. If you tend to do a lot of tutorials or if you tend to um, want to be showing PowerPoint slides, then that'd absolutely be worth it. Um, but I really don't think I would use some of the other stuff. So anyway, once you connect your Facebook and sign up with your free trial, you'll just click start broadcasting. And once you get there, you'll have these different options. So I'm going to go through the options. First, let's start with a talk show. So talk show is probably not what you're going to be doing most of, but it's unique in the sense that you can share your screen with this, and then you can also have up to, I think, 13 people at once. Not on the screen. You can have up to three people on the screen at once. You can bring up to 10 other people on as well. And I'll show you how to do this, but here's all your different options. You can do testing only, do not post, and then I'm just going to type something generic in here. Obviously, you want it to be better than that. Um, and I honestly have not done these, these two things. You can add your branding. So you can add a custom logo um, and then you can also add your colors. So you can see where I've added some colors here as well as the font can be changed. And you can also add frames, which I didn't do, but you can do that if you want. And then click save branding and then create broadcast. So this will bring you into the creator studio. Um, and once you get in here, you'll see these different options and it's super easy to set up. So this is going to be your camera. So you're going to click here first because you want to, Hey guys, um, you want to select which one you want. I've done both of these and they've been fine. It hasn't been slow. And then you can see default here and here. Um, what they did suggest that when I was reading and researching on this is if you're going to bring other people onto 
the um, call, you can mute them, but there can sometimes be like um, the back lag or the, you can hear an echo. And if you do hear the echo, it's usually not you, um, it's just bouncing back. So um, they were suggesting that you wear earphones and have everybody else wear earphones that are plugged in where they can have like a little microphone to talk into. So then maybe it doesn't happen. But I haven't tried this. I'm not, I probably won't use this, honestly. Um, but there is a perk to it that I wanted to show you. Um, I, I won't, I'll use it. I won't use it as a talk show. <laughs> um, so click Save Changes and then click Connect Camera. So that's you. And then if you want to add yourself to the broadcast, you can see there. And if you want to add your name, you can put there. And if you want to bring on other guests, you just send them the link. Now what's really nice is I believe from my understanding is that the guests can be on a phone um, and that they can get on via phone um, on this one and the other broadcasting that I'm gonna show you, but not through the solo, you can't do it from your phone. Um, so that might be a possibility. And then you've got all these options over here of how you can show things. But one thing that's really nice is you can share your desktop screen, but you can also add a photo from your Facebook album. So if I wanted to discuss something that I had previously chatted about, um, let me bring this up here. Um, like, let me go to my timeline photos. So I've been doing like a financially fit series and it's been mostly talking about finances and how I was in a really big hole. And I shared this picture yesterday. You could, there we go, do this. And then you could click solo and my face will disappear. <laughs> so you can actually see it pretty good. Um, and I could just bring that up on the screen and I can choose to show that. Now, if there was somebody else on the screen, I could do the same thing. I could click on them and just have them show, or you could have it like this. If you wanted to, um, you can have it side by side, which is really cool. You've got all kinds of options here, which is really, really nice. And then you can also, oops, <laughs> I deleted myself, I think, um, but I meant to bring it back down, but let me connect my camera again here. There we go. Um, but you can switch somebody off really fast, which is funny, but you can mute them as well. Um, so that's really nice. And so what's really cool about this is you can create an agenda. So I um, will show you guys this. I already have some that were created previously that you can see here. And this part does not show, so you don't have to worry about that part showing, but that's the part that kind of keeps you on track. But um, you can show this part. So if you click show, that can pop up and see how that click put the picture up so that it didn't go away. Um, so you can have that on there and then you can hide it if you want to. And again, this part is not going to show. That's just your own notes to keep you on track. To add those, you just click here. The title is what will show. The description is what won't. And then once you're done with that, you can just click the check mark and it will pop down to the bottom. Um, so that's really nice. And you can actually, you know, so you can see where I had all these points here that I want to make sure I um, made. And then also what's really, really awesome is that you can have their comments pop up on the screen if you choose to. So if you see a comment that you really want to show, then you can just click show and it will pop up with their picture and then you can hide it. And then if at any point you want to type something in here, um, you can do that as well. And you can always hide the agenda screen as well, but there's a reason why they put it here is so that you're looking there and not over here. Um, so whenever you click show on the comments, not on this screen, but I'll show you in a second, in the other platforms, it will show it right in the middle of your screen so you're not looking over as well. They probably don't put it here because there would just be too much clutter. So that's how you can do like the talk show. If you want to be sh showing somebody else, you want to be showing a picture or you want to share your desktop screen. The only downside to this is I don't see a way that you can share a picture that does not, is not connected um, already to your Facebook unless I missed it. Yeah, so that would be the only downfall is that it has to be a picture that you've uploaded to Facebook to be able to screen share it. Um, so if you're doing like a PowerPoint, you'll want to do a screen share probably rather than just show a picture, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, let me go back here. And then 
let's click here. I want to make sure that I haven't somehow gone live on my page. <laughs> um, but you want to go back to this screen. And then the interview one, it's kind of the exact same. Um, you just don't have as many options. So I'm not really going to go through that. And then the solo is what I use. So I'm just going to do testing only, don't post. And then I didn't do this. Um, and then if you create a scheduled bro Facebook live broadcast, what's really nice is you can schedule it ahead of time and you can put an image over the top while people are waiting on you to go live, which is really nice if you wanted to do that. But I probably won't do that um, anytime soon. And then again, you can go here and click your brand colors and then create broadcast. And the setup's just a little less cluttered. You don't have as much stuff going on. So you'll go in here, hello again, um, and then save changes. If you wanted to connect an external camera, you can. Uh, you can connect camera here. Hello, hello, hello. And then, um, again, here's the agenda. And so I can click on one of the previous agendas. And you'll notice, like I said earlier, if you click show, It'll show up right in the middle of your screen, so you're actually looking there and not over here. Um, you always want to try to look in the hole, but sometimes it doesn't happen. And so you can always show and hide this as well. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it as, as far as getting that all set up. There's really not a whole lot to do. It's really, really simple. And what I do is I click Start Broadcast. It will ask you again, do you want to go live? You say yes. And I have my phone next to me, and I just check to make sure that I'm actually live. And then once I know I'm live, that's good. And once you're done, it stays on your page just like a normal live video. And then you can download it and you can upload it to YouTube or wherever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I really like it so far. I haven't had any glitches, haven't had any issues. The feedback has been great. Um, so I probably will continue my membership. We'll see. Um, let me go back here. There we go. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, as far as engagement on my live videos, I feel like it's been pretty good. I feel like it's actually up higher. Um, and I've been doing videos about, uh, financial planning and things like that. So the comments people are leaving are a little bit more personal. So I would assume me popping up the comments, <laughs> they're a little bit less likely to comment because they don't want their stuff out there. So I think that if you're doing something that's not too personal, people are really excited to see their names up there. So um, I really love it. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope you um, like it just as much. Bye guys.